Okay, this is a quick review of a touchscreen stereo I bought off eBay. It cost me £26. You can also buy them on Amazon and there are other sellers. You can even buy them from China if you want. Um, it's 7018B is the model number. Works really, really well. I'm so pleased with this. This is a Ford Transit Connect Mark 6. So anybody that's got one of these, it's a 1.5 DIN or 1.5 size stereo in them, which is a bit of a pain. But if you cut the plastic off the bottom, there's a bit of a lip at the bottom and top where the old stereo used to just clip in. This is a snug fit. So I just cut it off with a standing knife, bit of sandpaper and just push this straight in. There's a bit of a gap either side. So I didn't bother using a cage. And also these stereos are just ISO connectors. So here's an ISO. This was off my original P Pioneer one, the CD player that was in here. So this is just a standard ISO connector and they supply you with two of these and cables and you're supposed to wire it in yourself. But if you buy the correct harness, in this case this is a Ford to ISO connector, it just plugs straight into your original harness and into the back of the stereo and you're good to go. So if you've got a Toyota or Volkswagen, Mitsubishi or one of the other brands, see if you can get one of these from Halfords or online. So you want ISO to whatever maker van you've got and it should just plug straight the way in. As you can see that's the speaker section and that's the power switch wire etc now to use a stereo i have a simple radio app which has got thousands of radio stations on so i stream that over bluetooth from my phone and the sound quality is excellent better than the dab radio that's in the car uh, i use spotify to stream google maps i stream often in the background gives you directions it's it's, it's excellent it's absolutely superb um, I can't get the mirror function to work on this. I think it's because I'm running a modern phone, Android 10, and it's not compatible. It just I can't get it to work. I think what I need to do is update the firmware firmware on this radio, and I'm just not brave enough to do it. I have a looked online, found a couple of links, but it's all a bit iffy, and and I just don't want to break this. And do I really need mirror linking? I'm perfectly happy just to mount my phone on the dashboard. But be aware, if you've got a modern Android phone, you might not be able to get the mirror linking to work on this. Uh, I'll just fire it up so you can see it going. So if I turn it on, you can get the Ford logo up. And that's actually in the set of stuff, actually, in the, um, if I can, settings, uh, other logo. And there's the lo all the logos that are actually available. You can have it start up, and the top left being the original one. Um, when you're actually playing Bluetooth, all you do is... Hit Bluetooth and the music at the bottom. There's a music symbol. And that, I don't know if you can see. It just says lights a bit, you know, unknown title on that. It's because it's not currently connected to my phone. Um, so you can skip tracks if you're using Spotify, pause, etc. Um, radio. Like I said, I, I tend to use a streaming app on my phone. I find that a lot better. So, but the FM radio works fine. You can slide it up and down, search, etc. Or set the presets down the bottom, or fairly find the radio station you want, hold your finger along the bottom. There's three FM, so you can have loads of FM radios, but like I said, I find it better to use the uh, radio app on the phone. Um, so we go back home now. Um, back to the Bluetooth, and, and that's it. I mean, there's loads of people showing you how these work. Well, the sun's a bit bright today. Uh, screen's not too bad. The touchscreen works really, really well. Um, it's really to be clear i can see it it's not the greatest screen in the world it's not like a tablet or anything but it's perfectly acceptable i think the amp in it is much better than i expected it is really good it's better than the pioneer which was 45 watts per channel i can't believe there's actually is 45 watts but the sound and the power it has is much better than the pioneer i had before so i'm don't need to put an amp or anything with this cool that sun's bright um it, it, it's really really good so that's my review. It's a buy from me.